Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Lunch Break with Amy and Kevin. I'm Amy baca Olert, your CEA president. Hi, everyone. And I'm Kevin Vick, your CEA vice president. Well, welcome back. Welcome to 2021. Um, we hope that everyone had a very wonderful holiday season, a restful, hopefully relaxing winter break where you were able to disconnect, really give yourself some time to just, uh, to just be. We know that we're coming off of one of the most stressful, challenging falls that most of us will ever, hopefully, experience in our professional career. So hopefully you had a good break. Um, and here we are, we see that 2021 um, is already starting off with a, a lot of challenges, a lot of things happening in our world, in our country, in our state, in our districts. So we're here ready to uh, take those challenges on and we look forward to working with you all, uh, fighting for you all, fighting together for the schools our students deserve. So we know, um, we don't know what's ahead this spring, but we know that together, we will get through it. Well, and I just want to add a welcome back myself and uh, also say thank you for your efforts in the first semester to try and keep things uh, together and, and keep kids learning. And uh, we know those challenges are still present and um, we're hoping that we're going to see some relief here pretty soon. If not, um, you know, during this semester, we're hoping that uh, coming back in the fall that um, things will be uh, starting to move in a more normal direction. And, and again, we just want to thank you for all your efforts and, and keep going now through this, through this next semester and, and hopefully we'll get some relief soon. Yes, and one of those things that we talked a lot about this fall was the importance of electing uh, pro-public education champions uh, to offices like the United States President, the Colorado Legislature, and the Colorado State Board of Education. And we are now uh, starting to see those efforts pay off. Uh, just this morning, uh, just today, this morning, the Lisa Escarsica and Carla Esser are recommended candidates for the State Board of Education were sworn in. Um, so they will begin serving in those roles. We are very excited uh, to work with Carla and uh, Lisa on the State Board of Education as they advocate for students and public education. Um, today also marks the start of the legislative session for 2021. Um, it's going to be in, in line with everything this year, a very different session. They're going to gavel in today, uh, take care of some business, but then we'll be gaveling out in a couple days uh, for recess to reconvene in mid-February. So certainly not the way we are used to starting a legislative session, um, but we've had a lot of unusual starts and stops and changes this year. So we will just roll with it. Um, there is, of course, going to be a lot of important legislation um, that will impact us as public school educators. There will be big things like state assessments, um, and we are working with uh, legislators on a bill for a pause for state assessments. Um, we know that the year that we have had that adding in state assessments right now is not the right thing to do. We have many ways, many ways that you, the professional educators, learn and understand where our students are in their learning. To add in a state assessment that will logistically alone cause many challenges for our schools, our students and our families is not the right thing right now. So that is just one of the big bills that we will be working on along with things like evaluation, uh, health and safety. We're going to continue to advocate that things that are in place um, for the utmost health and safety of students and educators. Um, and of course, funding is still going to be a very big issue that we will be addressing this legislative session. So as we've said many times, the CEA is not me, the president, or Kevin, the vice president. The CEA is the 39,000 members that belong to the Colorado Education Association. And it is when we come together and use our collective voice 
that we can make those changes that our students and educators deserve. So we're going to be calling on you this legislative session to engage, to tell your story. You are the professional. No one knows better than you what's happening in our public schools, what experiences our students are facing, what experiences our educators are facing. So we will need you to share your voice. Uh, so pay attention to social media. We'll have lots of opportunities for you to engage. Uh, pay attention to your email. Sign up for our CEA text platform. We'll have many ways for you to stay connected as we move through this legislative session and really push for legislation that supports students and public educators in Colorado. So the other big news that obviously I believe is important to educators is uh, news around the vaccine distribution uh, for the state of Colorado. And um, first of all, let me say it's through your efforts and through the efforts of CEA that uh, educators got moved into uh, the 1B level of vaccine distribution, which puts uh, educators uh, pretty close to the front of the line now, uh, which will be uh, hopefully impactful yet this spring semester. Um, and also what we're keeping a very close eye on is the federal government's policies around uh, vaccine distribution overall. Uh, latest news is that um, they are planning to uh, redouble their efforts and, and dramatically increase the supply uh, to states. And so that will definitely have hopefully a helpful impact on the av availability for educators to be getting the vaccine. Um, so again, stay tuned and um, we will put out as much information as soon as we can when we get it about uh, eligibility and uh, the latest on the vaccine distribution. Yes, such an important topic. And so definitely stay connected with your local president um, as your local is working hand in hand with your school district and the local health department as those plans unfold. So certainly we will keep everybody uh, updated on that and continue to push on the importance of educators uh, receiving the vaccine. Uh, so, as we said at the beginning, um, no, you know, there's no shortage of big things happening. Um, I do want to take a moment to just thank everyone, uh, as always, for your commitment, your dedication, your professionalism. Uh, last week, as we saw a national crisis unfold before our eyes, it was our educators who once again stepped up to the challenge we're there the very next day to engage in conversations, to help our students process, to help our students understand. Um, and that is the work that you do. That is what makes Kevin and I so very proud to be the president and vice president of the Colorado Education Association. What an honor to represent the over 39,000 members who do that critical job of educating Colorado students. So. Not gonna sugarcoat it and say, you know, that this is going to be um, just a smooth, easy spring ahead. We know that there are going to be challenges and bumps and roadblocks like we faced in the fall. But we also saw just the tremendous effort of educators uh, coming together to meet those challenges. So um, what I will say to you is that together we will get through this spring, we will get through this school year and we will uh, come out better for it. So thank you for all that you do. Uh, we will continue to fight for the schools our students and educators deserve. And we look forward to uh, being in that fight together this spring. So take care, have a great week, and we will see you in a couple weeks. Bye everyone. Stay safe and stay strong.